Hi guys, Mr. Riley here, and I'm at Croton Point Park in Westchester County in search of Fort Kitchewan. This was part of the Wappinger Confederacy, and I'm here to check it out and see if I can find what's left of it. So join me as I take this trip back in time. Uh, right where the Croton River joins with the Hudson River. And 10,000 years ago, we know that Native Americans were here uh, at this very spot. And we know this because they would eat oysters from the Hudson River and they would leave, leave the oyster shells uh, right here. So archeologists have found uh, along the banks of the Croton Point, uh, piles of oyster shells that were left over by the native people from approximately nine to 10,000 years ago. Native Americans used to call this the river that flows both ways because from the north, the water comes down and from the south, the water comes in from the Atlantic Ocean as part of a tidal estuary. So where I'm standing here uh, is at low tide. And then as the tides increase, you'll see it come up farther. Native Americans of the Kichewan tribe occupied this land and they had a fortified village that goes back to the 17th century. But as we said, Native Americans have been occupying this land for the past 9,000 years. In the 17th century, this land was part of the Wappinger Confederacy and they had a fort here, uh, which would be an ideal setting uh, for protection along the Hudson River here. So as we celebrate Columbus Day, it's also important to remember that this is Indigenous Peoples Day. And right here at the Croton Point Park is an example of natives who have lived here for thousands of years. And we can learn a lot from native culture and help us with the challenges of today. All right, so right behind me is where Henry Hudson was sailing for the Dutch back in 1607. And he'll sail right past Croton Point and he'll interact with the Wappingers. Uh, so it all happened right here over 400 years ago. Um, and it's going to have a devastating effect on the native um, population in this area and throughout the country. Where I'm standing now is picturesque grasslands right near the banks of the Hudson. But if you go back only a few decades and what I'm standing on is actually the Croton landfill. So humans since the time of the last 9,000 years have been struggling to figure out what to do with all our garbage. For the natives, 9,000 years ago, they had piles of oysters, shells that they were left behind. And for us in the modern times, if you dig down a few feet here, you'll find plenty of old couches and plastics and tires and so on. So uh, it's up to us in the 21st century to try to figure out how we can live in a sustainable way. All right, guys. So thank you for taking this tour with me and be sure to check out for yourselves Croton Point Park and see where the Native Americans first had their settlements. And we have an archeological dig that goes back some 10,000 years where we can learn from the past to prepare for the future. All right, bye for now and keep living history.